Keto Diamond, Keto Grocery Haul. Well, this is what I'm going to be eating primarily over the next week, me and my daughter and anybody who eats with us. So, this is our Keto Grocery Haul. I got some surprising things at Wally World. I was so happy and shocked to find these there. Yes. Need to find something to go with it. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, anything you ain't done yet. Let me show you what I got at a little bit at Dollar Tree, a little bit at Aldi's, and a whole lot at Wally World, Walmart. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you guys, so I've ran out of eggs, so I ran in Aldi's and got uh, some eggs, and I also decided to get one loaf of the Zero Net Carb Bread, the multi seed. Hey, guys, so I saw, uh, I think, Keto Twisted Gypsy haul these, and I had to go get some. They are Nature's Garden Keto Snack Mix with peanuts, I don't know what that is, peptil, 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 I don't know, almonds, walnuts, dried cheddar cheese balls, and they're from Dollar Tree. Oh, no, yuck. The cheddar cheese ball thingies were freaking terrible. This tastes like a chemical. I'm pretty sure I'm chewing on bleach or something. Uh, I can't tell you if your bag will be better than mine, but these are terrible, and I don't even know how you can F up nuts. That's right. They also had some cashews. Before I forget, if you're new here, don't forget to tune in every day for my daily dose of sparkly insanity um, when I weigh in and show you what I eat. Subscribe. We got kind of a large keto grocery haul here. My, uh, Corey bought quite a bit because she's going to be eating with us as well. So this is kind of like a combination haul. There's a couple things here that she got that I cannot eat, um, but I'm going to show you anyway. We got a large package of chicken breast, a large packet of chicken thighs, a large packet of uh, hamburger beef. It's going to last us for two nights. We got some sirloin teeps, and we've got some sirloin chops there. Um, tried to go as cheap as I can on all of it, but of course, some of it was quite expensive. We got $11, $8. This was $7. This was $8 and some change, and this was uh, almost $7. Not too bad for at least three people eating every night. That's pretty good. Got four packs of the hard-boiled eggs that are pre-cooked, pre-boiled, because there's going to be a lot of um, deviled eggs this week. There's also, oh, we got three things of the lettuce, just didn't have enough room out for it. She got some Parmesan uh, cheese, some grated stuff for, um, she wants some chicken Parmesan this week. We also got some zucchinis, some bacon bits, a huge package of cheese. We got this right her, which is going to be for like a stir fry one night, uh, probably with the steaks. We found these today. Uh, Greek gods, less sugar, keto friendly. I didn't even put much thought into these, so I need to look at these real good. They're probably not something I can have, but it's going to be something that's good for her to have. Because again, there is milk. But as long as there's no sucralose in here, pro oh, five grams. Wow. Okay. It's a bit much for me, but I'm probably going to try a bite or two. And when she got three of those, two uh, a vanilla and two strawberries. Um, she got some Rayo's tomato sauce, a large thing of eggs. Probably going to need some more eggs. I bought two better with cheddar sausages because um, I ate all Destiny's when I ran out of money, so I owed her a pack. Got some Olive Garden Ranch. She got some G. Hughes uh, Hickory Barbecue Sauce. I can't have that because of the sucralose. Got a massive thing of shredded cheddar. These, I uh, was so excited to find. Um, <laughs> these are the... Uh, was it birch benders, chocolate chip, keto, toaster waffle, um, like ego things. I was very excited to have these. And to go with it, I got two packs of those. To go with it, I grabbed this. The problem is I did not see the term sucralose until after I had got it home. So this is probably going to be Corey's as well. My try a bite and hope for no, uh, no headaches. Got four things of this fully cooked bacon. String cheese. Uh, mostly because I ate almost on string cheese and me and Anthony go through this like crazy and of course because I've been drinking my coffee I got a huge thing of vanilla almond milk the unsweetened I think that's all give me a minute I'll find out and then I'll let you know <laughs> so I also forgot about these because I put the one thing in the freezer that we had planned to have for dinner tonight so it's half unthawed now um, but I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator we'll have it tomorrow because it's gonna take forever but this is um, a big old rack of ribs. And we got a cheaper pack because they had them for like 15 and 18, but we got a 12 pack. It's not too bad for a family of three. That, well, it's feeding a family of three, maybe even four because Brian loves ribs too. So, 
Oops, forgot to mention we got several Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper 2 liters. It's in my cup. I keep it in my cup all the time. Um, but me and Corey both drink them, so yeah, we got a lot of these. If you guys enjoy this type of video, please hit that thumbs up button. Have you found anything surprisingly cool, keto friendly at Wally World lately? Let me know. Always on the lookout for some new keto stuff to try. So let me know what you think. And uh, much love, many prayers. See you later, y'all.